Hello everyone, today I'm making a peppermint crisp tart trifle, okay? Because it's Robin, my bestie's favorite, and he's coming, and two other besties of mine is coming. So I'm making them their favorite. So in here I've got, in my mixer, I've got four cups of fresh cream, whipping cream, half a cup of icing sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla essence, and that's just going to whip until it's almost stiff ne? okay and on this side i took i've got the caramel you can use the classic one as well and i got the chalk mint and another caramel so you can see the layers as i'm gonna layer it so i put it in a food processor and uh, i'll just separate it so i'm gonna melt a little butter and just mix through not too much and then I'm going to whip the fresh cream. Then I'm going to add the caramel. One second. So here's the caramel. This is the mint one. And just the ordinary caramel. I'm using two cans because like I said, I'm adjusting. I'm making a bigger pudding. So it's like a trifle. Like So once the cream is almost stiff, I'm going to add my caramel and mix that through. And then of course, the peppermint crisp tart chocolate that's been grated. Let me switch this on. Yes, then I'm using three of this 49 grams, I think. Three of these chocolates. You can add more if you like. Okay, it's a nice soft peak. I'm just going to add all the caramel as is. This is the mint one. As it's very early in the morning because I have quite a few other things to do. But let's get this out of the way. And the nice thing about these puddings is you definitely can make it in advance. Okay. And now the next one. This is the plain one. For me, I'll probably have some berries for dessert. This they can all eat here and take home. For them because I'm not much of a sweet tooth I love making it for people <laughs> one second guys and now also now the chocolate that I just also put in the food processor everything easy because it is a big amount you guys see I'm on the other side of my kitchen guys not by the stove. You'll be seeing a lot of these kind of videos. I'll be baking more. I've had so many requests for so many cakes and other goodies. So, just gonna break it through a bit. If you want, you can add a a green food coloring to this to make it stand out more. I was going to do it, but I put the, while the cream was whisking away, beating away, I was looking for the green, but I can't find it now. Knowing me, I probably gave it away. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mix this through now for a few minutes. Okay, so I've got my biscuits. I melted about 60 grams of butter. I'm going to add a little in each. I don't want a lot. Because you just still want that crispiness of the, the biscuit. There we go. That's over enough. Okay. And that's Opa coming. Say hello to the people, Opa. Opa, come show them what you brought me for the for the decorations. That's enough, Opa. Yes, Opa. Opa, show them in the camera what you got from the garden. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the mint. The mint. Don't have peppermint, but we're gonna use mint. Straight from the garden. I'm gonna give it a wash. Yes, Opa. Okay, I'll mix this through. I said I didn't want a lot of butter. 
because the moisture of the pudding is going to moisten it up a bit but at the same time you're also going to get that crunch okay and now it's just about assembling okay and i've poured my whole mixture in my very old jug i don't know if you remember this jug guys it's got a lid the lid is in the drawer i got both parts i'm proud of myself <laughs> okay then i just have a trifle bowl okay so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to pour from the uh, mixture first now we're just going to carry on add a little of the biscuits they busy there we're pruning the fruit trees you want to see it also on the side so I'm just pushing it there we go and now we do another layer of the peppermint. Okay, push it to the sides. Nicely. Oh, it's going to be good in the neighborhood. Now we're going to take the chocolate. sides looking good not too shabby uh-huh okay and we continue Don't push too much, just a light, gentle nudge. Okay, and the honey, I'm going to use this, the rest of these. And whatever is left, I'll make a small miniature one because you don't want, when you make any trifle, you don't want to do it to the rim. I've made that mistake couple of times because uh, you know you will go you go crazy with the fillings and the decorations you get all excited but once you dish and then everything kinds of want to fall out of the bowl okay so now I think this will be this layer last one take every bit out Yeah, Pupichi. Was it the Pakhau? Kind of. This washing up to do also. Whatever biscuits is left, you can throw over here as decorations. I think I want to do the chocolate one. Put over. <gasps> oh, that's a bit What I do 
is I'm going to clean wrap it. I don't want it, everything to go too chop too much. And I'm going to put it in the fridge. Tomorrow's dessert sorted. I'll probably do something else with the biscuits. So this indicates that if you add a bigger, longer tray, you'd have probably um, used all of it. And I'm just going to not too much. Leave some. Ooh, love Sunny. Oh, this looks really nice. I have fresh cream. I can pipe on here, but it will see. Anyways, we go wash that mint and we'll be right back. Okay. And there I'm done. So I would suggest using just two boxes of packets of biscuits. Here we go. Simple. Okay. Second. Okay, here it is my peppermint crisp trifle <laughs> pudding. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone.